Hey guys, welcome back to RK Garage. It's been a while since some videos, but I just can't be bothered anymore. But anyway, today we are E85 converting my drift car, which is an Ecotec V6 Turbo. It has a dirty big camshaft in it. For those of you who haven't seen this channel before and coming here for this, um, I've just put this scoop on here. I've got some paint, I'll be painting that later. But, um, doesn't really sit flat with this bonnet, but I do not care. It's literally just for venting. But yeah. L67 bottom end, Ecotec top end, 140 pound springs, a dirty big camshaft. It's like 248, 252, um, and over 600 lift. It is stupid big, it's horrible, it sounds sick. eBay GT3582 with 0.63 rear. Tiny, tiny rear housing, but it lights up so quickly and it's really good for transitional throttle response, which you need in drifting. It is completely stripped out. Two Sparco seats, I've got to put some harnesses in. It runs on a Link Fury ECU, which is tucked up under there. You can see my tuning cable here. Um, put this drag wing on here, but I think I'm gonna take this one off. Put on an eco jet because it sits nicer. And then I have another one, which I'm gonna put on here. It just kind of runs straight, which I don't really want eco jets to look like that, so it can go on here. But we third E85, what we recently have just done is this surge tank, which is EcoJet's original first surge tank before the one that's in it now. It has two Walbro 255s, I believe, a little surge tank. This made 597 with ease on EcoJet's motor back in the day. Um, I've got no issues for what this drift car is going to make. Obviously, batteries in the rear. Obviously, it's had a big hit. Everything's kinked over the side, but yeah, I drained out the 98 earlier and put it into the L67 project car. And then got the fuel here. Just got one jerry can, so let's get that in. And then we'll jump inside the car with a laptop and fiddle with the tune to get it to work, basically. So. Let's go from there, see what we need to do from 98 to E85. All right, so we're in here. Obviously, everything's gonna be dry, so let's just turn the ECU on and prime it a few times. Still here, everything go good. Probably need some more. Pretty good. All right, well, I'm just gonna turn the fuel pump on here and make sure there's no leaks. It is going to need a lot more fuel to try and start. So we should see here, when I go to crank it, probably won't even splutter. Who knows? I don't generally need a lot more, but we'll see.
right, hopefully we have our hottish start dialed in, so we'll uh, click this. Connect PC link. Uh, yep, store them across. You can see where it's there. As you can see, my feet are nowhere near the pedals. The pedal is up there. Feet are down here. Let's see if it will start without the pedal. Look at that. And people say it's hard to get a car to start in E85. Just gotta know what you're doing. Super cheap auto color spec color match cans. That's all we need. It's good enough for this. It's a bit windy, but it's in the sun, so let's get it done. sprayed up this GoPro might die in a second so let's rush through this so bonnet's all gone that's all fresh a little scoop vent I got there now I have bonnet pin to release it screamer pipe comes through there this is not made for a curved bonnet that's why it's a little bit wavy I do not care this is a drift car not a show car just need ventilation in there helps everything out plus I like the look of the D-Max ones but Front end's all pretty fresh, ready to go. I'm considering getting a set of D speeds for the front and then spacers on the rear and then that'll be my tire, uh, sorry, rim set up done. Just need to do harnesses now, get it onto my dyno, tune it, and then we're ready for round one, which is the 25th, 26th of May. It's coming up quick, so I'm gonna carry on with this. This will do for this video. Probably a nice shorter one now that YouTube pays for under 10 minutes, which is good. Don't have to ramble on. So we're gonna leave it there. Like always, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys on the next one.